Gail Williams. In 1984, I joined the United States Navy. After I completed basic training in uh, Orlando, Florida, I was sent to Meridian, Mississippi to attend the Maintenance Aviation Administration School. Once I completed school, I was sent to HSL 36 out of Mayport, Florida. I was then assigned to maintenance control on shore duty, and I was there probably from uh, late 84 to about mid-1987. Then I transitioned over to uh, sea duty. I was assigned to HSL 36 Net 4. Uh, we, uh, I made two long deployments, one on board the USS John Rogers, uh, where we took Lamp Ladder 332. Uh, we lost that aircraft to, to an accident. Uh, everybody got out. It was... And then uh, <clears throat> I made a Persian Gulf cruise aboard the USS Gallery, again with Depth 4, where we took Lamp Ladder 342. After I got out of the Navy, I went back to uh, Texas. I went to work for Norton Single Bank out of Stephenville, Texas and I've been there for 28 years. In the early part of 2013, I was feeling a little nostalgic. I got on the internet and uh, was just looking at uh, Sea Sprite helicopters and I happened across uh, a picture. Well, being, a, uh, being an AZ, uh, Buno numbers, you use them every day, and it was like um, learning your social security number. I knew most of the Buno numbers of all the aircraft in the squadron. 162583 was the Buno number for Lamp Ladder 342. When I saw this picture and saw the Buno number on the side of it, I knew this was Lamp Ladder 342. The uh, aircraft was in rough shape, it had a different squadron's. Uh, identifiers on it, but um, I felt that uh, something had to be done. After I saw the picture, I sent an email to uh, Ed Stewart, who is the curator of the exhibits at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, telling him that uh, I knew the aircraft, that it uh, was originally uh, an HSL-36 aircraft, and uh, just thought, what what were the possibilities that I would be able to come and see the aircraft? Well, he sent me an email back after a few days and said, well, said uh, that uh, area is not open to the public, but if, uh, you're more than welcome to come to the Space Center and we'll get you down there and let's take a look at the aircraft. Well, I made a couple of comments on Facebook on uh, the uh, Command Navy uh, Helicopters page and the uh, HSL-36 Lamplighter page that uh, I wouldn't, what I wouldn't give to be able to go down there and take some white paint and put 36 back on the aircraft. Well, it kind of went one way and then the other and it kind of balled up there and kind of got a little momentum. The next thing you know, we're, we're talking about going and doing a restoration on the aircraft. So um, I got together with Jamie Gonzalez, who was our... Uh, we set up as our communications guy with the Project 342, and uh, he started a campaign with the uh, uh, U.S. Navy uh, Aviation Museum and the uh, uh, U.S. Space and Rocket Center about uh, seeing what the possibilities were for we to go back, go into, and uh, do a restoration on the aircraft, just a static restoration. Well, it was. Uh, well, after 10 o'clock one night, and I had gone to sleep. I was, I was working an early morning shift at, uh, at my job, and I got a phone call from Jamie telling me, hey, uh, they're going to let us do it, and they're going to do this for us, and they're going to do that for us. And uh, you know, I was about half asleep, and I'm like, wow, well, you know, uh, really? And uh, it took a while for it to sink in that we were actually going to be able to do the restoration on the aircraft. So... Uh, <clears throat> We started uh, the um, Project 342 uh, restoration page, which is on Facebook, and uh, we got some volunteers together, 
and we started uh, putting out for donations to go and uh, help with the cost of uh, the restoration. Uh, everything had to be donated. Uh, there was nothing going to be uh, provided by the uh, U.S. Space and Rocket Center. So we set up donations to uh, buy some paint and other, other, other items. Uh, the company I worked for, uh, St. Gobain & Braces, was very generous with uh, a lot of products that uh, we make not only in the facility there in Stephenville, but uh, in, in North America and on the abrasive side. And then uh, <clears throat> we got uh, paint from uh, Command Aerospace. And uh, there was a company out in uh, Arizona, I think they were called KTEC Aviation. They supplied some um, uh, parts that we really needed bad. And then we started the restoration. And uh, I'll tell you, it, it has been uh, just, uh, I, can't, I can't describe it in words, uh, how this has gone. Um, just from the uh, comment of saying, hey, uh, I'd like to put the, uh, put the squadron's uh, uh, livery back on the aircraft to a, uh, just an almost total restoration, uh, static restoration of the aircraft. And um, it, it has just been great. Uh, a lot of guys uh, don't get the opportunity to do what we've been able to do. Uh, when I last saw the aircraft in 1988, I never thought I would see it again. I never really thought I would uh, see the guys, some of the guys that I served with back at 36. And uh, here we are, 28 some odd years later, and uh, it's like it's like it's 1988 all over again. Uh, we're all quite a bit older, and not a, lot, a lot different than we were <laughs> back, back in those days. And uh, it, it's been just really an absolutely neat project to be a, a part of and uh, I can't tell you how much it means to me personally uh, because uh, this 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 was my aircraft um, and everybody getting together and just it's just, it's just been a it's just been a great project.